Ficus microcarpa. You know that plant that you always see at Ikea, but only ever at Ikea? Ficus microcarpa. Ficus microcarpa is a member of the Rosalie's order, Moraceae family, and the ficus or fig genus. Now, you may have noticed that Ikea has the word ginseng on their product label, and that some of the photos I've shown you look nothing like the little butt trees you're used to seeing. Well, that's because this little demon flora has more names than Lafayette. And because you're stunting its growth with that tiny little aesthetically pleasing china pot and keeping it from reaching its full figgy potential. Your many-named deformed bonsai can grow up to colossal sizes in the right conditions, the largest specimen ever recorded being Auntie Sarah's banyan, standing at 33.53 meters in height and having a crown spread of 76.2 meters. That's three whole adult blue whales lined face to tail. It is currently 108 years old and sits in Menahune Botanical Gardens in Kauai, Hawaii. Just another reason it should be illegal for me to own plants. I'm so sorry, my Swedish children. They also do have fruit, but because of their little fig babies, they also have those gross fig wasps. There's being Eupristina verticillata. Let's talk about the history now. Ficus microcarpa was first described by Carl Linnaeus the Younger, a Swedish naturalist and son of Carl Linnaeus the more well-known not younger. He wrote about it in his book. Supplementum plantarum system ATIS vegetabilium editionis decimetertia, generum plantarum edition sexty, ET speciarum plantarum editionis secondi. Or just supplementum plantarum for short. And that's it for the history section. Now, how to care for your butt tree baby. Although I don't think I'm a reliable source, this is probably the only semi-useful part of the video. Ficus microcarpa are tropical trees, meaning they need a temperate environment at around 20 degrees Celsius. They need a lot of light, and they don't like to be moved around as their leaves fall out. They should be repotted once every two or three years and should be provided good drainage. On top of that, during the summer you should only ever water when the soil is dry. If you stick a finger in the soil and it's all mushy and wet like sweaty socks, wait a bit. During the winter months, water at most once every two weeks, and only water with room temperature to lukewarm water. Cold water will make it freak out and lose its leaves. Always mist your plant too, because it's tropical, it'll want air moisture. And I think that's it. Don't forget to donate to teamtrees.org. They're planting a tree for every dollar, and their goal is 20 million.